What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and once again I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys lately um, asking me about one specific look. It's that David Dobrik uh, disposable camera look and he has a special Instagram profile where he, as I understood it, um, posts all of his pictures that he's taken with a disposable camera. And I want to talk about this look today and I want to show you how to recreate this look using only your smartphone and that free Lightroom app. Now I've also created a preset on exactly this um, David Dobrik inspired disposable camera look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures. So it's a little shortcut to get the look faster. Uh, most of you guys already have the all presets pack so it's online on your link now. Make sure to check it out and for the rest of you who don't have um, the all presets pack yet, I really recommend it since it's growing. It's a growing pack. Every time I release new presets, do new videos they're automatically uploaded to your link so once you buy the all presets pack you will be having new presets on a weekly basis it's a great deal make sure to check it out link is under this video and of course if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell just to show me that this is content that you like um, that I can keep going with this and um, that really motivates me and grows the community. So that would be great. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at any time. At Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm really trying to reply to every DM that I get. It's been a lot of DMs, so it might take a while, but I'll definitely answer. So thanks so much. Um, I've said enough. Let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do, of course, is take your picture with your smartphone. Make sure that the flash is on. This is super important to get the nice look, no matter if it's in the dark where you obviously need the flash or even at daytime where you don't need the flash. Just make sure the flash is on when you take the picture. Once you have that picture, you wanna open it in the free Lightroom app and this is where we're gonna do the edit now. So we open the app and then we open our picture. Now I've chosen this picture of a Spanish influencer. Um, which looks to me as if it was taken on a mobile phone with the flash on at night. So it's the perfect setting. Then we go to lights and go to curve on the upper right. And I want you to recreate this curve right here. It's a very simple curve just on the bottom left side, pull up the shadows a little bit and then right next to it on the right, pull down, back down a little bit um, to just flatten out the curve to the upper right side. And once you have this as it is right here, we are done. And what you want to do now is just boost up the contrast to plus 30, then boost up the highlights to plus 12 right here, boost up the shadows as well all the way to plus 40, and pull down the whites a little bit to negative 6, and the blacks down all the way to negative 60. 65 is perfect. Then we're done with the light. We go over to the colors tab here. I want you to boost up the temperature a little bit to plus 14 and um, boost up the vibrance as well right here to around plus 10. And now it's really saturated. So we want to take that out a little bit, pull down the saturation to negative 39 or 40 right here. And then we scroll up, hit the color mix. And now we just want to bring back the skin tone. So we switch over to that orange circle right here and boost up the hue a little bit to plus 15. That's going to turn it into turn the skin tones into that green yellow area. And then, of course, the saturation, we want to boost that up to plus 36 in this case. And um, we're not going to change anything for the other colors. So we're done here. Now, this already looks pretty cool, but we want to um, do a little more. So we go to the effects tab and here I just want you to pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 10 just to soften it out, make it a little blurry. And then we want to dehaze all the way up to plus 40, 44 or 45 right here just to get that crisp back in. And um, then we want to add a little vignette. This is going to add a dark circle around the image a little bit. So we pull that down to negative 32 because we want the circle to be dark, negative 33. If we would pull it up, the circle would be bright, but we want it dark. So it's negative 33. Then we want to feather it out a little bit to around 75 is perfect. 
And then of course, we wanna add a little bit of grain, not too much in this case to keep it real. Um, let's say grain 26 is perfect. And now the last touch, this is where that typical green um, look comes in. We hit the split toning right here. And for the highlights, I want you to pull the highlights over to a hue of around 300 and around 310 and a saturation of 10 is good. So it's 313 and 10. And this will make the highlights a little purple. That's what we see on those disposable camera looks a lot um, that um, the, the, the highlights shift into that purple tone a little bit and the shadows really typical. We want to shift them towards green, a hue of 175 around that. Um, area is perfect and then a saturation of 20 should be perfect so it's 177 and 20 which is perfect and we are done here and now this is it guys here's a little before and after i think we came super close to that real david dobrik um inspired disposable camera look i think um he's using a real disposable camera but in terms of editing and taking the pictures with the mobile phone. I think we came super close. I'm happy with the result. Hope you guys are too. Once again, if you're having troubles following along to the tutorial or whatever, or it's just too long, I've created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website, link is under this video. Um, it's in that all presets pack along with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste um, to every one of your pictures to give them that special look. Make sure to check it out, link is under this video. And of course, if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Now, if there's anything you need, any new requests that you have, new ideas for videos that I can make for you, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always happy to hear from you guys. I'm always open for conversation, um, so make sure to do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. Um, stay creative. Peace.